hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet achele and i am back with a super delicious snack for this holiday season yes we're making a 25 pound bag of flour chips you requested for it and there you have it we're making it for 250 people so i'm going to share the recipe to help you make for between 50 and 250 people so here we have a restaurant style flour this flour is amazing and we got the 25 pound bag we have our onions and garlic and we're gonna blend everything together now if you have a machine to mix the whole 25 pound bag together then great you can go right ahead and do that but if you do not have a machine and you would be using your hand then you want to divide this into five parts so we will be making five pounds at a time okay so i just added the flour into my bowl to that i added some baking powder and also salt and as y'all know i'm not in my house i do not have my things that i usually use so i just went to the dollar store to pick up this bowl please do not get this bowl it was hectic trying to use it because it was so soft and flimsy but I made it work, okay? I also added in some butter, and as usual, we're gonna rub the butter into the flour until it is well mixed. Today's special tools goes to the beauty food chick from Nigeria, Bill Kiss Abdul Razak, and time with Lydia, the pharmacist. Thank you for always watching, liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos. We'll then add about half a cup of our blended onions and some water and we'll mix and add some more water little by little until we have reached our desired consistency. Now when making these type of chips, although I'm going to be leaving the exact measurements in the comment section or the description box, you never want to add all the water at the same time. You want to add it in little by little and mix until you get the right consistency. Now if it becomes too soft, you can always add some more flour but remember it is going to take away from the richness of your dough so you want to be mindful whenever you're adding in your water once you've added the desired amount or the required amount of water we're going to go ahead and mix this into a beautiful soft dough and then we'll cover it up and allow it to rest for at least an hour so that the gluten in it can relax beautifully which will help us roll it out easily Our dough have been resting now for about 45 minutes so we'll transfer it onto our cleaned work surface and we're going to go ahead and roll and cut this up now if you're making this much and you have a pasta maker you can use it to um, thin it out after you have to roll it first before putting it through the pasta maker to cut it into your desired um, sizes for you but today we would be making the entire 25 pound bag by hand so sit back relax and enjoy well i'm not gonna show you all of the 25 but this is quite a lot i usually don't do this unless i'm doing it for a special person so as you can see the dough is nice and soft i cut it up into the portions that i'll be rolling it out in and then i covered it so that it doesn't dry out and i floured my surface and we're gonna begin rolling it now remember that the thinner you roll this out the crunchier it'll be and the faster it'll fry so bear that in mind as you roll it now once you're done rolling it out you can use a knife to cut it into your desired shape and sizes but that will take you a very long time so if you can invest in a pastry cutter or 
a pizza cutter as most of us know it then you should because it makes your life a little easy and if you have people in the house that can help you that would also make your life a lot easier but I made this whole thing by myself I am proud of myself so since I was able to make it I know you can make it too for this holiday season so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and cut everything up meanwhile I have some oil going so by the time I'm done cutting our oil will be nice and hot Now to ensure your oil is hot, always drop one chip in and if it rises quickly back up then your oil is hot. I thought I was filming but unfortunately I wasn't and if you notice this is not my regular setting because I'm still displaced. I'm in my brother's house. He doesn't have all the equipment that I have in my house to make this but I made it happen i made it work and i made my auntie very happy because i wanted to do this for her she is my baby's godmother so anything she wants i jump on it and i'm there to do it for her so yeah we're going to fry this until it is nice and golden brown like this and then we'll transfer it into a paper towel lined tray or in this case the foil pan because we're making a lot and we'll repeat the process until everything is done now when frying a big batch of chips like this be assured that your oil is going to start foaming and bubbling up because the butter the baking powder all the ingredients in your flour begins to react in the oil which causes it to foam up when that happens once you add your chips into the oil please do not stir it up like this because when you do that the moisture begins to escape all at the same time causing your oil to bubble and rise up out of control and sometimes it may spill over so to avoid this once your oil begins to bubble like this once you put your chips in the oil keep from stirring it just ensure that all the chips are below the oil level so if you pour it and everything sinks under the oil leave it alone and it'll fry gently gently give it about 30 seconds to a minute so that the moisture can escape slowly instead of it all escaping at the same time and you will end up using the same oil to fry the whole thing i used about a gallon of oil to fry the whole 25 pound bag so i shared this tip but i wanted to share it one more time in the recipe just in case you missed that video and we will repeat the frying process until everything is nicely fried up and then we'll go ahead and allow it to sit to cool completely we'll then pack it up box it up and take it to the funeral so um i also made some donuts for her i couldn't um film that part at home so i just mixed it and then i took it there and we fried it there i would share that recipe with you all as well since the holiday season is upon us and in case you want to throw a party or you're having a large amount of people coming to your home you can make these small treats and pack it up for them to take home so long after they've left your house they'll be reminiscing thinking about you bless and loving on you okay i do want to thank you all so much for watching if you've enjoyed me until this point why not let me know where you're watching from and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family 
is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi sweete mahabutu. Bye, y'all.